Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to the Living Environment Regents exam review. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at photosynthesis and cellular respiration really quick. Uh, we did this in class uh, towards the end, too, but this is a pretty popular topic on the region, so it deserves a little more attention. So let's start with photosynthesis. Any question on photosynthesis will mention stuff like autotrophs or also use the term autotrophic nutrition uh, producers or sometimes something like inorganic to organic, which I'll explain in a second. Now, what is photosynthesis? Well, as most of you know, photosynthesis is um, a plant's way of making food. And in this case, food is a sugar. So what the plant uses is, of course, it uses carbon dioxide. That's what a plant breathes in sunlight, and water. It uses those three things to make the main ingredient, glucose. That's what the photosynthesis is about, making food, glucose. Um, and a waste product of photosynthesis is oxygen, which happens to be very cool for us because we breathe it in. Now, where does photosynthesis take place? Uh, photosynthesis takes place in the leaves. And so if you take a cross-section of a leaf, this is a very popular science book picture. This is a cross-section, which means that we're looking at the thickness of the leaf. Towards the top of the leaf is where photosynthesis happens, because that's where the sun is entering. And if you look at the cells up there, you get plant cells. And in each plant cell, you have these organelles called chloroplasts. And chloroplasts is the exact location of where light energy goes in. Um, and something called chlorophyll, which is a pigment, uses that sunlight to make sugars, glucose. Now it's friend, cellular respiration. Now what is cellular respiration? Well, some words you'll see is heterotroph. Heterotroph is any organism that does cellular respiration, has to eat. Consumers, same thing. Energy making, cellular respiration makes energy. And Anywhere you see ATP or ATP being made is cellular respiration. All right, so let's think of an uh, organism that does cellular respiration. What do we need to make energy? Well, what we need to make energy is we do two things. We breathe in oxygen and we eat glucose. So these two key components are two also, two also two body systems. Oxygen is our respiratory system. We take in oxygen. And glucose, we get it from our digestive system, which breaks down complex organic molecules, food, into simple ones, glucose. Now, we use those two things to make, bam, a waste, carbon dioxide, water, which we make, and ATP, which is the key thing that we make during cellular respiration. ATP is a molecule which we use to make energy. We use it to do work. Now, where does cellular respiration happen? Well, in us, if you take any cell and look at it, there are these organelles called mitochondria. And mitochondria is the location where glucose enters and makes ATP. But be careful. Plants also perform cellular respiration. They have mitochondria as well. Now, the formulas are useful to know on the test because sometimes you may need to fill out parts of them. The easiest way to do it is to think of photosynthesis first. Photosynthesis has three blank lines on the left and two on the right, and cellular respiration has two blank lines on the left and three on the right. Just think about if you were taking care of a plant that it would need a few things. Now, what do plants need? They need CO2, they need water, and they need sunlight. Those three things make what we said before, a plant makes sugar, glucose, and the waste, oxygen. Now, that's an easy formula to remember because we know how to take care of plants. Just for cellular respiration, all you have to do is reverse all the words. So look, the two lines on the left, just write glucose and oxygen, which is also in the photosynthesis formula on the right side. And the three lines, you copy the same thing from the photosynthesis lines, except sunlight. So CO2, H2O, and instead of sunlight, you put ATP. Woohoo! Now, let's try some questions. Now, what you should do is uh, pause each time, because I'll do the questions really fast, but you should pause the video and try th each question yourself. 
Which set of molecules is best represented by letters A and B? The answer is beep, three. Carbon, carbon dioxide and water is inorganic, and that means it's not living. And glucose is one of the organic molecules. It's a carbohydrate, so the answer is three. Again, pause when you're ready to answer it. Which process in the mice, we're talking about mice in here, mice make two gases, oxygen going down, carbon dioxide level going up. Which process in the mice most likely accounts for the changes shown? The answer is respiration. Next question. Most starch, most, that booking, most of the starch stored in the cells of a potato are composed of molecules that originally entered these cells as simple sugars. Um, when glucose is made by a plant, it stores it as starch, which is a, com which is a complex carbohydrate. This diagram represents a cell organelle. The arrows in the diagram could represent the release of beep, carbon dioxide from a mitochondrion carrying out respiration. The answer could also be uh, water being released um, or ATP. Now this is a cool little flow diagram. You have to fill in what ABC is. So you could pause the video and try your best to fill out what ABC is. It says light energy is captured in the process of A, which is stored in it stores the energy in B to be used in the process of C. And the answer is Three, photosynthesis, organic molecules, respiration. Now, really quick, yeast is a heterotroph. It makes, in this experiment, bubbles in the water. These bubbles right here, what are they? Don't think, just say, what is it? What is it? What are the bubbles? If you said carbon dioxide, <laughs> correct. Now, really quick, really quick, give an organelle in cell A that is the site of autotrophic nutrition. Huh? What's the organelle? Huh? Quick, think, don't think, just think, just write. Chloroplast. Excellent. And that's our very, very quick review of photosynthesis respiration. See ya!